You know, I'm not a young guy. I've been gaming since the 90s, and I've tried my fair share of controllers, keyboards, and even mice. So you could say I've got some experience. Mad Cats is a gaming and accessories brand that's been part of the scene longer than I have. And they're well known for making large arcade style control pads. They also have a whole line of PC peripherals, which until last week, I didn't even know existed. So when I got the opportunity to visit Mad Cat's suite at CES, I jumped at the opportunity. Let me show you what I found. Hey guys, Danny here. I'm over at the Mad Cat's booth. They have a lot of items in here that I want to check out and I'll bring you along for the ride. So let's go take a look. The first thing I'm gonna show you is what Mad Cat's is well known for. Thanks, uh, Danny. It was so nice to, to see you and welcome you here to the Mad Cat's booth here at the Venetian. And we're really excited this year to showcase some of the product evolution that's happening in Mad Cat's. First and foremost, of course, is the TE3, the Tournament Edition 3 Arcade Fight Stick. Now this thing is going to be multi-platform compatible. This is going to work with your PlayStation, it's going to work with your Xbox, with your PC, with your Nintendo Switch. Uh, whatever you have, it's going to work with that. The beautiful thing about this is not only does it have increased, uh, improved portability, but also customization and modability. So we have a, um, actually an artist that we're working with in, in the fight game community called Clever Art. And uh, we're going to have uh, some of his artwork available for, uh, for download from our website absolutely for free and uh, that's gonna be very easy to change out the faceplate on the T3 itself. And uh, above and beyond that, we're gonna have uh, a really strong focus uh, for the T3 on modability. And this is one of, uh, probably the only fight stick on, on the market that has just the easiest modding you can imagine. Just at the push of a button, you're gonna put, lift this right up, and you have all of your uh, internal components here, and you have modding tools and extra buttons and all the cables in here ready to go. You can store extra sticks in here, controllers, whatever you need. Uh, and you're ready to go to, to a tournament, to your college dorm, wherever you want to go, and uh, you're ready to get back in the game. And removable wise, am I just talking about undoing the screws and removing your sticks and buttons, and then the whole thing just snaps onto it? Absolutely, yeah. This was designed uh, primarily for very easy modding and very, very easy customization. That's very, very easy to do. It should take you just a few minutes. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Ease of use is definitely the key aspect That's what we're in going for. Any, anything that we do these days. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's take a look at some of these other items you got. Right. I don't really play a whole lot of arcade style fighters these days, but you could use the TE3 for something like Super Smash Brothers. It'll connect right to the Switch and you can use that control button smashing technique from back in the day. They did, however, have a lot of peripherals that I was really interested in. Let me tell you about some of them. Mad Cats prides themselves on making the world's most adjustable mouse. This isn't it. But they do have about 14 different types of mice and it looks like about half of them, maybe even more, are fully customizable. They have both wired and wireless options, depending on your preference. In fact, we got to experience the kind of customization options the Rat series of mice offer firsthand. Most uh, mice manufacturers, they have a motto or a slogan, it's one size fits all, but we all know that one size fits none, right? Not, I mean, would you buy a car that could, you couldn't move the seat? You know? Absolutely. Would you buy even a gaming chair that you couldn't adjust it? Why are mice not really adjustable for the most part? Mad Cats prides themselves on making the world's most customizable mouse. And in fact, I mean, they'll tell you themselves, people with hand problems, hand cramps, carpal tunnel, the adjustability that this mouse gives you is second to none. If you type in, um, you know, hand pain and hand discomfort and things like this, people complaining on the internet, you can go anywhere on the internet and type this in, you see Mad Cats is the solution always for this issue. If you have bigger hands or if you have uh, maybe a little bit wider hands and you need something that feels more comfortable, because we're using our computers, I mean, if you're not a pro gamer, Right? You're still an office worker or something, you need something that's comfortable, you're using it every day, all day. Uh, over time, over you know, years and years, it's going to add up and that's why people get injuries, uh, repetitive stress injuries, carpal tunnel syndrome, things like that. This is the answer. The Red 8 Plus ADV, 20,000 DPI. And on the fly DPI buttons, 60 million clicks. Oh, it has buttons on the mouse to be able to adjust settings? Absolutely. And onboard uh, memory, memory as well, and 11 buttons. And the best thing, I think, is adjustable weights. So if you look at the if you look at the bottom of the mouse here, you have adjustable weights so you can take oh, that out. So it's, okay. it's just uh, it's just unscrews usually. There you go. So you can just unscrew that. Okay. And this pops yeah. off, and then you're going to be able to remove those weights and adjust it and, and customize it. There's a profile switch here. You can switch between layouts for different games, whatever you like. So this is actually my my personal go-to for. And for your color is your profile. Uh, that, yeah, exactly, exactly correct. Yeah, so the sport, 
blue profile, purple. Absolutely, but that's really a, you know that's the top of the line for the Rat series, twenty thousand DPI. That's you know that's future proof, and even if you're playing on like an IMAX theater, you're still going to be okay. Mad Cats even makes mechanical gaming keyboards. They have four different models displayed on their website, which are the Strike series. I swung by Amazon, which is just one place you can pick up the Mad Cats products, and I stumbled across their popular Strike Six RGB wired keyboard. It's a 60% form factor utilizing Mad Cat's proprietary mechanical switches, and it has fully customizable RGB lighting. They have their own software you can download on their website so you can control all the RGB lighting in their mouse and keyboards, and I think even their headsets on some of the models. They were nice enough to show us through their entire booth, talk about all their current lineup of products, and show us some things that are coming to the market in 2023. The price of the Mad Cat's gear is what really gets me the most. They come in so competitively priced for what you're getting. Their mice start as low as $30 with the fully adjustable Rat 8 Plus coming in at just over $100. Now you can buy special edition models for $200 plus, but they're limited production and they are a very specific market. The keyboards range anywhere from $50 up to about $120 currently. They have a full Amazon store with all of their products listed for the US market. I'll leave a link below if you wanna swing over and check out some of Mad Cat's products for yourself. They'll be bringing wireless versions of items such as the Strike 6 and the Mojo M2 to the US market this year. Those are actually two items I'd really like to check out. So Mad Cat's, if you're listening, give me a call. Overall, I was very impressed with their suite. They had a ton of products that, like I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't even know were to the market. Keyboards, mice, headsets, they even have a gaming chair. It's not in the US yet, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we might see it sometime. I wanna shout out Mad Cats. Big thank you for allowing me to come to your booth and see all of your awesome products. And if you wanna see any of these products, reviews, that type of thing, let me know what you're interested in down in the comments and I'll try to pick something up, take a look at it, unbox it, that type of thing. For those of you that were waiting to see a bunch of videos and stuff from CES, I really want to apologize. I was going to film and edit and upload every single day. CES turned out to be way more overwhelming than I thought it was gonna be. In fact, I uh, just really took it all in. I met a lot of cool people, some other content creators. It was all about the networking and just really seeing the products firsthand and kind of being out there, getting my face out there, that type of thing. I just want to thank everyone that watches the videos. I'm really sorry I didn't get videos out during CES, but consider this like my makeup period where I'm going to try to pump out as many as I can with all of that content. And then I got to get back to work doing some builds because I have some big things planned for 2023 and there's nowhere to go but up. So as I always say, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel and I'll see you in the next video. No.